Let's have a look at question 14 in this video. So we have Harry, a monopolist who has a total cost curve given by the following function. He sets two prices, one at a regular price, pH, let's just call it PR for the sake of the notation, I think it makes more sense, and a discount price, PL, let's call that PD. Now everyone can buy the product at the regular price. To be able to buy it at the discount, it's necessary to present a copy of the latest Harry newspaper. Now suppose that the ones who buy the ad are those who are not willing to buy it at the regular price. In other words, what we're trying to say is that there's going to be a market that are paying the regular price, there's going to be a market that pays the discount price. So we are segmenting, we are discriminating. Now let's have a look at part A. If Harry has this demand curve, what's going to be the maximizing values of the prices? Okay, so let's recall from the four part series we made on the monopoly, with the, with the two prices, what's going to be the maximizing price for the regular segment, for the discount segment and the respective quantities. I wrote them over here to recall ourselves. Uh, so these are going to be the relationships, PR, PD and the quantities. The A stays for the intercept, the M stands for the marginal cost, the B stays for the slope of the demand function. So let's just write that over here to keep track of it. This is our demand function. This is going to be our intercept A. This is going to be our slope. What would we need? We need the marginal cost. The marginal cost has a relationship with the total cost, which is the derivative of the total cost with respect to quantity. So that's going to be 5Q plus 15 derivative with respect to quantity, which is equal to 5. Now with this in mind, we can actually find out the maximizing price for the regular customers, which is going to be equal to 2A plus M over 3. So that's 2 times the intercept of 20 plus the marginal cost of 5 divided by 3. So 2 times 20, that's 40 plus 5, that's 45 divided by 3. 45 divided by 3, that's 15. So we found out the price for the regular customers. Now let's find out the price for the discount customers. Well, we will have again the intercept A, which is 20 in our case, plus 2 times the marginal cost, which is 2 times 5 divided by 3. So we got 20 plus 10, that's 30, divided by 3, that's equal to 10. That's going to be the price for the discount customers. So we got the prices, what else do we need to find out? Um, okay, actually next question. Uh, how much profit does Harry make? So to find out the profit, we also need to know the quantities because we need to know the relationship between total revenues and total costs. Let's write it, let's write it over here. So this was part A, let's solve part B. The profit that we're looking for is going to be the total revenue from the regular customers plus the total revenue from the discount customers minus the total cost that we incur. Okay, so we need to know now, let's write it, let's write it a bit more expanded. The profit function is equal to the price of the regular customers times the quantity of the regular customers plus the price of the discount customers times the quantity we sell to the discount customers minus the total costs. So we need the quantities. To find out the quantities, we also can use our relationship over here. So let's work that out. Let's work it over here like that. Get some space. Um, what's that going to be? The intercept is 20 minus the marginal cost we found out to be 5 divided by 3 times the slope. And the slope is 5. The slope is going to be 5. So 20 minus 5, that's 15. 3 times 5, that's 15. So the quantity that we sell to each market segment is going to be 1. We're selling 1 unit to each of them. So let's keep that in mind and work this out over here. The profit is going to be the following. The price that we charge the regular customers, that's 15 for 1 unit, plus the price we charge the discount customers, that's 10 multiplied with one unit minus the total cost and the total cost will just take it from the question 5q plus 15 over here so that's going to be 5q plus 15 5 but then the quantity is the total quantity and we sell one unit to the discount one unit to the re to the regular customers that's 1 plus 1 uh, minus 15 minus 15 so let me just check if that's actually correct 5q plus 15 yes that's correct plus 15 okay close brackets and now it's just gonna be pretty mechanical it's just math so we have the profit equals to 15 plus 20 minus 
5 times 2. 5 times 2 is 10, so it's minus 10. Minus 15. Minus 15, because the minus and the plus turns it into a minus. Now, if we work this out, we will have 15 plus... Am I doing it right? Minus 5 times 2, that's minus 10. Minus 15. Oh, wait. 10 times 1. 10 times 1 is 10, not 20. I'm sorry about that. I'm not in a good shape today. So 15 plus 10 minus 10 minus 15. 10 and 10 cancel out. 15 and 15 cancel out. So the profit that the monopolist is making is zero. That's the economic profit. Okay, so we answered question A. Question B, we still have question C and question D, but let's leave it for the next video.